Well, good morning, everybody. Just got up, had my coffee. Linda is going to go on over to Winslow, Arizona, and she's gonna to try to find a campground over there to spend the night in. She wants hookups. And all the campgrounds here around the Grand Canyon are completely full. And I think she's heading out right now. There she goes. I'm gonna stay here at least another day boondocking. By the way, I'm boondocking at the Love's truck stop here, right here by Williams, Arizona. I could probably just stay right where I'm at. There's a cool one right there, a little uh, throwback, or what do you call them, to the old days. Those are cool. So my, my long-term plans here are that after the train ride, then um, I'm gonna come over here, load my car back up, and then we're gonna leave tomorrow, early tomorrow evening. And then we're going to go to uh, Winslow, where Linda's at. And if a campground she's going to go to is kind of decent, which I don't expect it to be, you know, it's in the desert, for God's sake. It's, it's not going to be great. But if it's got good hookup, fairly level spots, reasonable price, I'll probably go over there and maybe hang around there for uh, a night. And that's about it. Well, today's the day. I think it's around uh, 8.30 in the morning. Uh, we've done been inside, got our tickets. What you have to do is have your ID. If you got a discount, like a AAA discount, you have to have your AAA card. And if you've got a park pass, you have to show that also to get all the discounts. So we did all that. Now we're going around back here. Around back is where you wait for the train. There's supposed to be some kind of a little Wild West show. Can't be much. Train leaves, or yeah, it leaves at 9.15. And the Wild West show starts at 9. So... It can't be much. The train over yonder over there's got lights on, so I don't know if that's us or not. But I guess we'll find out. Well, the tr train's here. Goes all the way back to there. And we're getting on, Sue said, we're getting on the B car. I don't even see the letter B. This is the B car here, right? Or no? I thought there was a letter up front here somewhere. Did I see the B back there. So do we get on back there? Or are we getting on up here? We'll figure it out. We could rob this train and nobody would know who we were. <laughs> Okay, to get on the train, first thing you got to do, you got to get the tickets. We called and got the tickets over the phone. You can also do it online. I found that very confusing, but don't let that deter you because I get irritated with that stuff online, and then I just don't want to do it anymore. So you can also go to the hotel and get the train tickets all at the same time. You can spend a night at the hotel and then come over here. It's a package deal. Yeah, and they tell me that's a, that's a great deal. I think it's 30% 30 off that way. Yeah, and the hotel looked like a nice hotel. We'd been around it three or four times. Behind the hotel, there's a restaurant and there's some other stuff. And this is where you get your tickets, where you actually pick the ticket up. Once you get conf confirmed on your email, then you bring it over here. You show them that. You got to show your ID. If you took like a AAA discount, then you got to show your AAA card. If you have a park pass, you have to give them your park pass so they can write the number down. We did all that. It wasn't a real big deal. It's just that I didn't know we were supposed to do that because I don't remember anything that I read that said I had to do that. Now we find out really since we got here that while you're on the train, you got to wear face masks all the time. Um, I'm not a fan of that at all. So our tickets was for the two of us. We're going coach over to the Grand Canyon, which I don't want to sound confusing, but actually we're not going to the Grand Canyon. It's just a train ride to the Grand Canyon. We're not going to go around the Grand Canyon in any way. They're going to let us off at the uh, Grand Canyon Village, which is restaurants and stuff like that. Sue said three hours. We might take a dinner over there or something like that. I mean, that's probably all been planned. And then we're riding first class back to here, to, to the station, mm -hmm. which I don't know what the difference between here and the first class is, but we'll Sue, show you. <laughs> Sue, yeah, Sue says she thinks we get snacks. Ooh, it is what it is. And our tickets for the two of us was a little over two hundred dollars. Two sixty-six. Coach over, first class back. Mm. They also have a dome car. Yeah. Uh, which is a little bit more expensive, and they have a um, a dome parlor. I, I'm not quite sure what that is, but uh, it's also more expensive. 
And when you get to the uh, village, the Grand Canyon Village, there's also a hotel there, and you can stay there if you want, I mean, for two or three days before you come back. And I've heard that's a very great experience. We're not going to do that, but... Uh, no, because I've already got reservations at a campground that's over by Winslow, Arizona. So i got to go over there tonight, so I'm going to be a late arrival, but anyway, that's what we're going to do. I'm doing a voiceover because there's a man on the train playing a guitar, singing songs, and I don't wish to be copyrighted in this video. You can hear him in the background if you listen really close. What you're looking at if you look at the bottom of these trees is some of the fire damage from the last fire they had here. That fire damage really comes home to haunt you because they were having a massive fire at Flagstaff a few miles away, and it was awesome to watch. Well, Sula and I has come to the conclusion we have not been here before. We've been to the Grand Canyon once or twice, and we were here in October when it wasn't near as busy, and we just kind of went all the way around the park. We could not go to the northern rim because it was closed because of snow. Even though the state itself has kind of opened up on the COVID situation, inside the national park, all masks are required to go inside any of the buildings. So this is the Grand Canyon on this end here. Thing is, if you've got a thing about heights, and I kind of do it since I've gotten older, you can just stand here on the edge and just look down into it, and it makes you feel a little woozy. If you look down there, you can see horseback riding trails, or at least that's what I think they are. I don't know what else would walk on them same paths, you know, to, to form a path. I suppose the elk could, but I don't see where it's going anywhere. It goes over there to the edge and stops. I highly recommend anybody out there, especially if you're older, if you haven't been to places like this, the Grand Canyon, um, what's stopping you? When are you going to do it? Don't wait too long. Like I said, I've been here a couple of times now and it's still impressive to look at. Okay, let's go walk over here. It's called the Hopi House. All right, I think the guy on the train told us about that. I guess it's got a lot of things in there from the Hopi Indians, I think, something like that. another angle to look at it. I feel like I'm going to fall in. Where? I don't know. All I know is there's a big round building that went up like a, like a lighthouse.
We're still trying to decide where we was at the first time we was here. Here's a cactus blooming. I said I'd get a better shot if it was too close. So me and Sue got the same thing, uh, beef stroganoff. After I got it, I wasn't sure what stroganoff was, but after I got it, I realized my grandma used to make this. But she made noodles and all homemade. These kind of taste like bag noodles to me. And then that stuff right there. It's, it's roasted Brussels sprouts. It's roasted Brussels sprouts, and I don't care if you roast it, boil it, fry it, cook it, deep fry it. It still tastes like Brussels sprouts, so I put almost all of mine over on her plate. It's I don't. Right? I do not like it at all. So she can have it. It's kind of different because the sour cream is on top instead of mixed into the sauce. Yeah. I just mix mine together. I just remember my grandma's beef stroganoff. It was much better than this. I know. I'm being picky again, but it just is. I mean, I can eat it, but it my grandma's is better. You know the memories you have. Away nope. From it ain't the memories. It's the food. I'm telling you. Okay. She made it, but the noodles she made hand handmade. These noodles taste bag bag this noodles. Can't really do that anymore, especially this For as much as this shit's costing right here, I expect their noodles to be handmade. Well, we don't know that they yeah. are, but I doubt it. Oh well. Okay, we're sitting here waiting for the train. We're a little early, but that's okay. Uh, I just don't walk as far as I used to. Sue can't climb the stairs anymore, hardly at all. So we have to walk down the ramps. They use wheelchairs. So, well, we got time to kill. I don't know if you can see this building behind me here. Um, wish I could tell you about it, but I know nothing about it. That's to El Tobar, that's where we had dinner. That's where we had dinner. <laughs> what did you think of the dinner? I, I think I already told them how I thought about it. I thought I... it was okay, my grandma's was better. Yeah, I messed with beef stroganoff in several different ways, and it was doable. I, I can't say it was wonderful, but I ate every bit of it. <laughs> so it must not have been too bad. <laughs> and on this side of the Grand Canyon, I don't think we've been here before. We don't recognize these buildings. So what I thought, I've been here before, and I expected to take pictures of kind of the same things. It's not. It's all, all new to us, and really. We don't know really what side of the Grand Canyon we're on from the railroad. <laughs> Because when a train brings you up here, it's all it's it's different. Yeah. Uh, we don't see any cars or any of that kind of thing, so we're not sure what side of Grand Canyon we're really on. And then we don't remember what side we were on before either. Yeah, we was on the South Rim. <laughs> I know where you're at. Okay. Well, this might be the opposite of that. I don't know. They give yeah. us a map, but I don't I don't know nothing about the map, so yeah. it doesn't say much. Yeah. But there is a, a marketplace, and I'm thinking maybe that's where we were before. It was a marketplace. Mm, maybe. Could be. Could be more than sitting in a busy place. We're sitting. We're sitting by the bathrooms. <laughs> it's yeah. the only shady spot left. Yeah. I thought if we come back here a little early to get on the train, we'd find a place to set. Well, everybody else thought that. Too. Everybody else thought that, and then they're all full. So. Because it's warm today. But they can't steal my seat. Well. One thing I said about the train: the seats are assigned. Yeah. So they're your seats. Yeah. And, and we're going to get to see. Like I said we come down coach. Uh, but we're going back first class, so we're going to see what the difference is. We'll let you know what the difference is. Yeah. We may have not no be idea much, either. but they tell me that first class means you get a bag of chips. <laughs> <laughs> we don't know that. Yeah. We think maybe, but we'll find out. Yeah, we'll let you know. Yeah, we'll let you know. Okay, some of the differences between coach and first class. One, this is cleaner. Well, the seats aren't plastic. Foot foot rest in between the seats is a lot wider. You have a foot rest, you have a table to set drinks on. There's the foot rest down there. Uh, I've also got a thing on each seat for storage. Put it, storage. And uh, the lining you see up here looks like carpet. Old, <laughs> old time carpet is what it looks like. Mm -hmm. No, I said the seats are different. And the snacks is they just got a snack bar set up at Look, I'm going with this with my camera. I'm using, I'm using my camera to point. I hope you guys aren't upset, are you? Anyway, the snacks are in the snack bar as you get on the train. And she just said, uh, 
to help herself with anything we wanted. She said, but stay away from my bar. So that's the only thing. We have to stay away from the bar. I guess if we want anything, we'll order it and pay for it. But i got to drive, so the odds are I'm not doing that. But anyway, the seats are nice. You can see they're, they're high back seats. They're not made of leather. It's a, it's a soft cushion kind of like thing. Looks like it's got an adjustable armrest maybe. I see a button on each one of them. Not that ain't the button. That ain't the button. It's old thing. That's not the button. That's the button. I don't know if that moves the backrest or what, but anyway, that's what it is. It's a button for something. Yeah, they ride those horses a really long way, don't they? Yeah. What do you folks got over here? She has it all. He's got, huh? got hair in his camera. I'm sure he does. Look, it looks like a little bunny tail. Take off your hat. Oh, yeah, no. you can use some over here. Put it hair. back on. <laughs> <laughs> what are you guys hiding over here? Uh, got all of them. Uh, oh, they did. They did. This is a robbery. Oh, Marshall, you tell him we just rode oh. off into the bush. Well, at least we got the handsome one, right? That's right. <laughs> Which way to go? That way. That How way. many of them? Two. They steal from you? No, I'm four. You don't work? Uh, I bet. <laughs> His shoes? I don't work. I have a day. No, he didn't steal those. That'd be a hazardous waste. <laughs> well, let me go find them. New Mexico would like to thank the Smiths for stopping in on their harvest host and staying with us this evening. Welcome back to Uranium City Wine Winery uh, here.